Hi everyone, this is Kristen Fagan here with a new episode of Free Spirit Beating on the Softlex Company YouTube channel. Thank you guys for joining me today. Today we're going to be making some stamped metal earrings and they are just like the ones I've got on here except we're going to be doing them with a drop blank instead of a circle blank and then we'll be using some soft flex wire and one bead on each earring to finish it off so pretty excited it's thanksgiving weekend here for those of us that celebrate happy thanksgiving week um, today is november 25th and we do have a great sale going on today it it is 20% off of all of our crimps and our components and jewelry findings um, including some of our jump rings that are on the outlet shop and our closeout and sale items will also get 20% off on top of the sale price you already see online so you can shop at softlexcompany.com and just shop in our comp crimp components and crimps section. Anything in that section is 20% off. If it has a sale price, it's that sale price plus an extra 20% off. So you can get up to 45% on some of those items that are already discounted. So pretty sweet deal. That ends tomorrow at midnight Pacific time. And if you place an order of $50 or more, you can have um, the option to ship that for free in the US. I also wanted to let you guys know to stay tuned for our pre-Black Friday sale that starts on Wednesday of this week and our Cyber Monday live sale that happens over on the Softlex Company Facebook page on Monday, December 2nd at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Hi, Pamela. Nice to see you today. So I'm excited to share with you guys a new line of tools that we brought in and some blanks for metal stamping. So this is pretty new for us soft flexors. It's not something we've ever carried before. Um, and we're excited to offer you something different to make your jewelry with. Uh, I love the look of textured metal personally, so I'm really excited about that part of it and that's what I'm gonna focus on doing today. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna make these earrings and we're gonna be using the new 2019 fall winter Pantone quad beading wire pack. Um, with some beads to create with today. So let me turn you guys down and we will talk about what's new and get going. Okay, so let me show you what I've got here on my table. Um, I've got a steel block. We are now carrying these at softlexcompany.com, so you can find those there. And I'm gonna be using this, is the Newell Multi-Function Hammer Kit. So this is the base of it, and then we've got all of these different heads that can go inside to create different textures. We've got a ball peen head that creates this texture, which I think is my favorite. It's just these little circle texture on there. Then we have the chasing hammerhead, and that one creates a very plain, slight texture you'll see here. Um, and if you'll notice, I do have a few little nicks on my blank example. And I'll tell you why. I accidentally used my chasing hammer head to stamp um, regular stamps, like a letter stamp or something. And when you do that, it's going to nick the head on this. Um, so I just wanna make you guys aware, if you do do that, you're gonna end up marring up your head. And then when you nick this down to just create some texture, you're gonna get those little gashes in there. It's gonna transpose. So 
This is really for just making texture, not for using on an actual stamp itself. Um, if you wanna be a rebel and use it, that's your prerogative, but you will end up not being able to use the chasing hammer for, for its main purpose. Um, you get this nylon hammer, which is pretty awesome because we love doing wire work and um, wire flattening and all that kind of stuff. And you really need a nylon tipped hammer for that. So this is a great addition to your toolkit to be able to have the nylon hammer. And then you also get what's called a sprinkle texture. So this looks just like a stamp. And I'll show you guys how you can add this to your tool and create this sprinkle texture. So the sprinkle texture looks like this one here. And this one's really quite fun. I like this a lot. This is probably up there. Maybe it's my second favorite. So we've got the ball peen is that one. And then we've got the chasing hammer is more of this flatter texture. And then lastly, you've got the sprinkle, which is this one down here. Now, in addition to those hammer heads, those are the, this is what you get in the multifunction hammer kit. So you'll get all four of these to go with yours to make those different types of textures. But if you happen to have a stamp hanging around, a six millimeter stamp, I have this one that is of a moon. You'll see it's just a moon on there. And this is a regular, um, just one of their regular six, I think they call it a six millimeter stamp. You can also place this inside the hammer and create a texture with that. So that's what I did with this one. I just wanted to try it out and see how it worked. So this was my moon hammer, my moon stamp that I use to create a texture all over. So that's pretty fun that any type, um, I think we've got a snowflake one that we're selling online right now. So you can pick up the snowflake one, you can add it to your hammer, and then you can use that as a way of texturizing your surface as well. Okay, so we've got all of these little parts and then these are these are the blanks that we're carrying. There's really pretty teardrop shape. You can use this for earrings. You can use this for a necklace. Um, really, really nice. They are called their premium blanks, so they're a little bit more uh, rounded on the edge and they're a bit sturdier. And these are made from an aluminum metal, which makes them very easy to use and easy to stamp. It's a great, um, it stays nice and shiny. It's a great metal to start with if you're new to stamping because it makes a very nice impression and easily, so it's not real hard on your hands. So that's the drop. And then we also brought on this really fun shape, this crescent moon kind of shape. And I'm excited to use this in a future video. I have an idea of what we're gonna do on this one, but I, so I'm not gonna use this one today, but I did want to show you guys that this is available. And this would be awesome for necklaces especially. You might be able to work something out with making a bracelet. Um, you might need to bend it if you've got something, you could bend it over a little bit and, and make a bracelet with it. But I envision this as a necklace. Um, for myself. All right, so that is the newbies. And here is an example of the earring we're gonna make today with that sprinkle texture on there. I used the citrine wire from the Pantone quad beading wire pack, which is this one right here. So if you haven't seen this yet, this is Softlex beading wire. It is our medium diameter 0.019. It is an all purpose wire, it can go through all different types of beads and it's what we use the most. We have a ton of colors um, and this particular set we put together based on Pantone color trends for 2019 fall and winter. So it's got our citrine, our bone, our dark blue lapis, and our garnet colors. 
Pamela says, that is a gorgeous earring. I know, I'm totally in love with them. I'm wearing, I've been wearing the um, garnet one all weekend. And that's the one I have in my ear today. And that is the one we used the ball, ball peen on there. So, which one would you guys like me to show you for the for the drop earring? Let me see if I have some flat sides of my little examples too. I do. So I can do the sprinkle or I can do the ball peen. Those are probably my two favorites. So which one of that would you like to see? I'm just gonna move my stamp, my steel block. I do have some doggies in the house, so they may bark if I start hammering, I'm not sure. Um, so just be warned. Okay, Pamela says the sprinkle. So I do have a sprinkle blank here, and it's actually um, blank on the other side. So I'll show you guys how to do that one. So here's the sprinkle head. The sprinkle head is the one that looks just like a stamp. And you're going to slide it inside of your hammer. The bottom of your hammer has this little screw twist. So you'll turn it to the left to loosen it and make space. And then once you've got your stamp head in there, you will turn it to the right to tighten it. And you just wanna go as tight as you can get it with your hand. And then um, the company suggests that you put your hand over the hammer and kind of hold on to this piece here, kind of like that. And I think that just helps keep it in place. If you find that this loosens up while you're hammering, which I believe it may, um, you just stop for a minute and you just tighten it back up again. So easy peasy. Hi, Lydia. Oh, shopping for Thanksgiving. I haven't started yet. <laughs> so good for you to be ahead of the curve. I have a feeling I'm going to be out on Wednesday afternoon um, with all the other crazy people. <laughs> so we're going to do some texturing on this blank here. I'm just going to place it down. I'm going to put my finger on one little corner of it, and then I'm just going to start tapping. And I'll show you guys what it starts to look like. See, it's just a sprinkling of texture. And go all the way around. And it's up to you if you wanna do the edges or not. I would say, um, I would say if you do some of the edges, you might as well go around and do all of the edges so that it looks consistent. Or if you wanna keep your edges real flat, try and keep inside the shape without hitting the edges. Um, but I am not too focused on keeping it on the inside, so I tend to just uh, do the edges as well. But it's really, it's a light tapping. You don't have to hit it real hard, which is great. And the only other thing to be mindful of is your hole here. You don't want to tap it to the point where you end up closing up that hole where you're gonna use as a connection. So just be mindful of going around that hole. Um, I tend to start with my finger holding over it so that I know in the beginning when I'm doing all of this texture, I'm not, um, I'm not going on top of that hole at all. So there is our sprinkle. And you'll see I have a, one little spot right here in the center. So let me get that. So fun. I'm gonna open up these drops here. And I wanna show you the ball peen head as well. Hi, Emily, welcome. 
we are just texturing with our new multi-function texture hammer. So I'm just loosening up the bottom, which allows this to come out. Make sure I loosen it enough. I can pull this guy out of there. This one likes to stay in a little tighter than the others. And usually it's not this tight, but maybe I, my hands are a little dry. Okay. Well, good thing the dogs are being nice and quiet. <laughs> oh, I also want to mention that when you get this hammer, due to the size of it, if you choose free shipping at checkout, we may remove it from its packaging so that we can get it into a nice priority mailbox. All right, I'm gonna take a deep breath and... Well, maybe I'll just sprinkle some more. I feel that it's definitely loose in there. Okay, well, I'm just gonna sprinkle some more and I'm gonna try and pull it out after this. So once again, I'm gonna grab a hold of the top hole here and tap it down. I might've got a little overzealous. I'm kind of having a case of the Mondays. So are you guys hosting Thanksgiving at your house, anybody? I'm supposed to host Thanksgiving here, which I do mostly, most of the years. And the pipes in our under our kitchen sink this weekend um, just totally fell apart. So I'm waiting for a call back from a plumber. Lydia says, yes, I am for some friends. Awesome. Ooh, that looks really pretty. I like how the sparkle stamp, the sprinkle stamp really picks up a lot of sparkle. Lydia says, yes, I am for friends. Oh, wonderful. I'm doing a Friendsgiving at a friend's house on Wednesday. Um, so that'll be a lot of fun. And Pamela says, we're all meeting up at my sister's house. Everyone is bringing sides and dessert. Awesome. And then Emily says, Thanksgiving was in October. Laugh out loud. Yes, Emily, you are in Canada, aren't you? <laughs> so you have it at a different time than we do here in the US. So yeah, so my pipes broke underneath my kitchen sink this weekend. And so we haven't been able to use the kitchen sink all weekend. I think it happened on Saturday morning. And um, as of right now, I haven't heard back from the plumber and I'm a little nervous that they are not gonna get it all fixed uh, before Thanksgiving. <laughs> so, so it's been quite interesting not having a kitchen sink and then I don't even know how I'll do Thanksgiving if I don't have a kitchen sink. The texture stamps do come with the hammer. Yes, Pamela, you get the hammer and you get all of the texture stamp heads. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this earring. Lydia says, oh no, so sorry. I know, that might be a good thing of why I haven't shopped yet though because I was gonna shop this weekend 
Um, and who knows what we're gonna do? I mean, I might just do takeout if I don't have a kitchen sink. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> we will have to wait and see. Okay, so for, for beads, I've got two options here. I've got this larger rondelle, which has like a very sparkly silver finish. Or I have these clear faceted um, rounds. This one's a little bit smaller. This one looks like an eight millimeter rondelle, and I would say this is probably a six millimeter round in clear. Which ones would you guys like to see? And let me make sure this one will work. I think it will this way, yeah. The sparkly one, the big sparkly one. Lydia says, we've washed dishes in the bathroom before when our sink was broken. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Our bathroom sink is really small though. And um, so it's hard to kind of get anything larger than regular plates and stuff in there. Like any of my cooking pans and pots are really difficult. Um, so I've been trying to limit that. And I've been using, I bought a, a plastic dish pan and I have been, oh, you're saying use the tub. I don't have a tub. <laughs> so <laughs> I have just a shower. So I've been using a dish, I bought a plastic dish pan and I've been using that and I think I could even bring that um, or maybe even some Tupperware, like, uh, like a big tub that I would normally store stuff in. I could probably use that. Emily says, depending on how bad it is, once you hear back from a plumber and get something set up, you should be good to go. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping nothing under there, you know, they always have to order stuff and get things. And I'm hoping that nothing under there is uh, something that has to be specially ordered and that they could just get it going. So hopefully I hear back from them today. I think they've got like 24 hours before they're allowed, you know, to, um, to get back to me. If I use both of them, I think it will be too long because these are kind of long already and they're, and this is a little bit shorter than the drop. So I have a feeling it's, I'm just going to stick with one bead because if I do the two, it is going to get a little long with this design. Pamela says metal. Lydia says clear. And then I also want to pick a wire color. So we got one vote for metal, one vote for clear, two votes for metal. Kelly says metal too. And then we need to choose a wire color. I'm not, I don't know if I, I'm not feeling the bone because it's a little too, I don't know, I feel like it's a little too warm with all the silver tones, personally. So I think it would be between these three. The citrine, the dark blue, lapis, and the garnet. Which one would be your favorite for this design? The lapis, Lydia says. You are a blue lover. Kelly says dark blue. I love this dark blue. It's one of my favorite colors. And Pamela says garnet. So we've got an N. Kelly says blue also. Lydia says, yeah, she's always, she's a blue lover. Metal and Lapis from Softlex Company. Yep, I think we've got more of the blue and the metal, so we will do that. And the earring, I'll show Pamela, I'll show you the garnet because the earring I'm wearing, I did with the garnet and I, and it is really pretty. So it's a great color with those silver tones. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut myself a little length of soft flex, probably about 
four inches. And I'm also gonna grab a two by two millimeter crimp tube, which all of our crimp tubes and crimp covers are on sale in all four metal tones. And we've got them in black, sterling silver, gold filled, and copper. Those are all on sale for 20% off right now. And then I'm also gonna grab a silver, um, Ear wire. I believe this one's silver plated, but we also have the same design in silver filled. And those are on sale in the component sale this week too. So I'm gonna first start with stringing on my blank. I should also mention if you want to, you can, you can texture both sides. So I just did the one side here on the video, but you can actually texture both sides if, um, if you wanna do that. I did do that on my earrings that I'm wearing. So I'm just stringing on the teardrop on the soft flex. And then I'm going through the bead in one direction, and then I'm gonna go through the bead in the other direction creating a little loop connection like that. And you can pull this tighter or make this looser depending on how you want it to be. And then I'm gonna pull those wires up that direction just together and that's where I'm gonna slide my crimp tube down just like that. And here you're just gonna fiddle with your wires and your bead a little bit until you get it. Make sure it's all kind of standing, standing straight. And for this design, I actually have it laying in this direction. So I've got the bead in a forward direction instead of the sideways. Now, if you wanted it to hang this way, you just need to add a jump ring between this loop and your drop so that it hangs in the other direction. So either option. And once I look and see I'm happy with this sort of line here and how it's going, I'm gonna take the longer end and I'm gonna fold it back into my crimp tube to make my top loop. Wiggle it in there. Oh, I just pulled the other one out. So if you pull one of the wrong ones out, you just readjust. And you can use your pliers if your wire falls kind of far into the crimp like mine just did. Okay, readjust again. And with our two by two crimp tubes, you can get three strands of our medium beading wire through, sometimes a little more snugly than others, but three will always fit. And then you can use your pliers or your fingers to pull down the wire to make your loop. So one of the things to think about too is that if your earring is going in this direction, See, I got the line here. I want my loop to go in that direction. So I want my loop to be facing like east to west so that it goes on in the correct direction to my ear wire. And then you could just pull on these tails to tighten and adjust. Once I am happy with it, I think I just want to make it a little tighter. A 
a lot of fiddling today. So once I'm happy with it, then we'll take our crimp tubes and crimp. So I'm making sure my loop is going in that direction. I'm holding it in place. And then I'm gonna place my crimp tube inside my magical crimping pliers, right into the center of that notch. Give it a good squeeze. And you'll pull it out and you'll see your crimp is pinched on all four corners. And then I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna place it back inside and give it another squeeze. And alternatively, you can always use a regular pair of crimping pliers or another pair of crimping pliers that you use with two by two crimp tubes. I just love my Magical because it turns it into a beautiful little bead and then I feel like it's nice and finished. And now all you do is cut off your Trim off your tails. Just make sure you don't cut your loop. Now, I always like to pull my tail out if it got caught in the loop there so that when I cut it, I can get as close as possible to that crimp with my flush cutters. And trim that off and then trim this off. And I'm using a pair of professional Softlex flush cutters. They have a really great um, sharp cut. You can cut all the way up to the edge, which allows you to get really close to that crimp tube. And I always use the flat side up against my crimp tube. That also allows me to get as close as possible. All right. So since your wire is flexible, you can always kind of play with it too once you crimp it, make sure everything's lining up okay. And then once you're done, you could use the little tip of your magical crimping pliers as a chain nose plier. And just take your hand and twist your wrist into the one direction so it slightly opens up that loop. Slide this on, grab it and twist it back nice and closed. So I have that ball, my ear wire. And there you've got it. Really, really pretty. And I like it in both directions. When you wear it, you do tend to find that it flops around a little bit. So I do like the idea of um, stamping both sides so that no matter what direction your earring kind of flows around, it is showing that lovely texture. And I know you guys, some of you have patina paints or have seen me use patina paints in the, in the past. So I have some of this really pretty blue patina paint that I tried on the back side of this earring just to show you guys what that would look like. So I thought that that was really a fun way to add some color if that was something you wanted to do. We don't sell these patina paints on our website, but you can find them um, by searching. They're made by Vintage, V-I-N-T-A-J, and they come in all different colors, and you can use them on all metal types. So really, really fun. Let's see. Pamela says, very pretty. Thank you, Pamela. I really love them. I think that texture is just so much fun. So I hope you guys will give it a try. And then you can have all these different textures you can play with. The ball peen and the flat one and You'd also have a lovely nylon one for when you do some wire work. Pamela says the use of the patina is a nice addition. Yeah, I thought it was fun to give it a try and just see. I wanted to see if it would stay and how it would, um, 
how it would look. Let's see how these go. So we'll take out the round ones and put in the drops. Oh, they're so pretty. See how they sort of bounce around? So I do like the texture on both sides so that no matter what direction um, they face, they've got it. And you can even play with doing a color on one side, texture on the other, so that you have the opportunity to even just switch them if you wanted to, if you wanted to switch them out. So that was a quick and easy one for today. Um, a lot of fun, something new, and I hope to do a couple more videos. I'm definitely gonna work on the crescent drop, um, crescent blank at some point for a necklace design in the future here. I'm excited about that. And let's see, what do we got going on? Oh, Wednesday, we have our um, Facebook Live design challenge with the O Tannenbaum design kit. That is at 1 p.m. Pacific time on the Softlex Company Facebook page. Um, that day is also the day where we will choose a winner from the Great Pumpkin Design Kit Challenge. And that's also the day where our new kit goes on sale at softlexcompany.com. So if you've never participated with our mystery design kits before, we introduce the one every month. And then we do a live design challenge and unboxing at the end of the month, um, typically the last Wednesday of the month. We do that on our Facebook page. And then after that is revealed, we open it up for you guys to share your designs and post them in our um, Softlex Facebook group called the VIB Studio, or Very Important Beating Studio. Um, so you can see what everyone else made with the same kit. And at the end, we, we let people post designs for about three weeks. And then at the end of those three weeks, we go through all of the posts and choose a winner at random to win one of our future kits. So it's a lot of fun. These kits sell out really fast. Um, we are planning in the new year to make some more, but this, uh, this is our December kit. So we just have the normal amount that we have been making for the last couple of months. Um, and they have been selling out in like three to five days. So really quickly, if you wanna get in on those, um, make sure to check our website on Wednesday or Thursday so that you can be one of the first people to grab a kit before they're gone. So once they're sold out, they're sold out. Um, we don't make any more until we just have a new kit in the following month. Pamela says, I dawdled and missed out on the last one. Yeah, they've been going quicker and quicker, which is wonderful, but we are, you know, we do want everyone to be able to get one that wants one. So we're looking to up our numbers. We've already started working on upping our numbers for 2019 so that we can make more kits so that there are more kits available for you guys. But um, this December one is still at our lower quantity. So they go really fast. But it's really pretty, um, excited about that new kit. And then in addition to the design kit video, we, we have the Cyber Monday sale on Monday. So next Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific time over on the Softlex Company page, we're doing a special live sale for Cyber Monday. Um, Peggy says offer as a monthly subscription kit. Yeah, we have talked about it and thought about it, but the way our system is set up, it just isn't something that we're um, ready to do at this time. Uh, so we have a very similar shopping cart to some other beating friends and they've had some um, pretty rough times with the subscription. So we're not, uh, we're not at that point point yet um, but right so right now we just offer it as a limited supply and once they're gone they're gone and this way if you don't want to participate every month you can just show up on the months you do want to participate and grab your kit at that time but it's a great suggestion and ones that maybe we'll be able to do in the future so we got our cyber monday live sale on monday december 2nd 1 p.m. and I will not be here next Monday um, because I'm gonna be off for the holiday for two days this week, yay! Thursday and Friday, uh, the Softlex office is closed, um, but you can always, obviously the online site is open all the time, but we'll be closed, so that just means I'll have a few more things to get together um, for, 
for work next week and I'm gonna take a break from this video. Plus it's Cyber Monday, we have the sale going on. So I will catch you the following Monday, not next Monday, but the following Monday, I will be back with a new tutorial. Thank you guys so much for being here today. If you enjoyed today's video, just give me a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and also hit the little um, little bell when you subscribe so that, if, so that you can be notified when we have new videos. Um, happy Thanksgiving to all of you that celebrate, and happy belated Thanksgiving to you, Emily, <laughs> and anyone else in Canada. Um, I will see you guys soon. Have a wonderful holiday weekend. Uh, talk to you later. Bye.